Hey guys, and welcome to my healthy habits that I try to implement into my daily routine. First is the most obvious, but actually the most important, and that's getting enough sleep. In the winter, I like to go to bed earlier and wake up earlier. I personally feel the best when I get between 9 to 11 hours of sleep. I also stamped out the bad habit of immediately checking my phone notifications when I wake up. So next is teeth care and oral hygiene. Ever since I went through Invisalign and got veneers, I've been really conscious about taking care of my oral health. So when I take my retainers out, I immediately deep clean them and then I'll freshen up with something new I've implemented into my routine and that is oil pulling. So this is an old practice that comes from Ayurvedic teachings and there's so many benefits like reducing bacteria, treating bad breath, preventing cavities. I just started doing this so I only swish it around for about three minutes but the end goal is to work up to about 10 to 15 minutes. Afterwards, I spit it out into the trash can and then I'll brush my teeth normally. Something I do wanna note is that I switched out my generic toothpaste and mouthwash brands to organic ones. They are way more expensive, but they're worth it because they're not toxic. Next up, I wash my face with this vitamin C cleanser. It's really vitamin rich and energizing and helps to remove pollution and impurities without drying out my skin. I'll do my actual skincare routine later on after I work out, but for now, this is a quick way to freshen up. I also like to mist my face and hair with some rose water spray, and then I will leave the bathroom smelling amazing by dropping a few drops of my favorite essential oil blends into a diffuser. So next, I will make my bed. I actually really enjoy doing this. It's kind of therapeutic to me. It gives me a sense of order to start my day, and I always try to make it look aesthetically pleasing, like a bed in a home magazine. Next, I'll change out of my pajamas and straight into a workout outfit. This triggers my mind that I will be moving my body, so it's a great way to just gently force myself if I'm feeling a bit lazy to work out that morning. Obviously, in the winter season, my workouts fluctuate with the temperature outside. In the summer, I'll spend a lot of time swimming, running on the beach, surfing, that kind of thing. But in the winter, my workouts shift more towards stretching, like hot yoga, bike workouts, um, things I can do at home, and then the occasional surf. But I really hate putting on a wetsuit. Anyway, I digress. So let me show you what my current workout routine is like and what it will be throughout the winter season. So this is a Nordic Track S27i Studio Bike and it's honestly amazing. Let me wake this up and then I'll show you guys. So obviously you get the cycling aspect, but what's amazing about this is it also comes with weights. So it's kind of like your own at-home gym system. And this program called iFit has thousands of workout classes. So what I like to do before I hop on the bike for a workout is just to do um, like a really nice warm up stretching class. Okay, so I selected a yoga video to do and I'm just gonna set this up here. Close your eyes. Just finished up with a yoga warm up, and now it's time for my main workout, which is the fun part. So, my favorite thing to do on this bike is to take advantage of their Explore the World series and do like a really fun scenic mountain bike workout. I have never been mountain biking in my life, and I probably never will because I feel like I'm just not good on a real bike. On a mountain I think I would have an accident so this is a great way for me to kind of get that experience without getting hurt today we are gonna do the Alaska snow bike mini series because that sounds like such a fun time let's do a dog sled endurance ride in Fairbanks Alaska shall we every morning I never know where in the world I will be cycling around and that is so much fun for a traveler like me 
Welcome back, iFit family. We're here on this awesome fat bike series. I'm your iFit trainer, John Wessling. We're back in beautiful Fairbanks, Alaska, one of the prettiest winter cities I've ever been in. I am so excited to have some special guests. We've got a sled dog team today. Oh my goodness. This is way too cute. Briefly interrupting my cycle workout to tell you about Nordic Track. So this is the Nordic Track S27i Studio Bike and it's the cure for everyone who has ever bought exercise equipment and ended up never using it. That was literally me, but I upgraded to this one and I am never looking back. This bike comes with a stunning 27 inch HD touchscreen with iFit, which gives you access to thousands of workout classes from mountain biking, studio cycling, HIIT, yoga, and recovery. It also has smart adjust technology so your iFit trainers control the resistance incline of your bike to match the intensity of their workout. So all you have to do is hop on the saddle and enjoy the ride. Their Explore the World series is a really visually beautiful and immersive way to experience a variety of scenic destinations all over the world. So you can really enjoy working towards your fitness goals right from the comfort of your home. And now let's resume my bike ride in snowy Alaska. As we get closer to the top of this hill, you guys gotta take these views in. You guys, I am having way too much fun with Nordic Track and iFit. Um, the Explore the World series literally has me hooked. It has me actually looking forward to working out, which is insane for me. I actually have this like inside joke with some of my close friends of sending them where I'm biking around in the world that day. I'll be like, oh, just biking to a volcano in Costa Rica. Oh, just biking to a lighthouse in Mallorca. And it's really silly, but I think it's funny. And yeah, it's crazy to actually just enjoy an at-home workout like this. So I will link all of the Nordic Track Studio Bike and iFit membership details down in the description below if you wanna check it out. I also have a really nice deal for you guys too. It would make my day actually probably make my year if you guys were to tag me in your stories of where you are biking around in the world with the iFit Explore the World series. I hope you guys do it. I hope you join me on this. I think it'd be a really fun way to motivate each other to just sweat it out, reach our fitness goals, and live our best lives. So anyway, I'm gonna go shower and then we will resume the rest of the day. Right now I'm getting my steamer ready. I'm adding a few drops of Deep Forest Essential Oil Blend. I'm gonna be doing a face mask with the steam. So this is the mask that my facialist uses and whenever we get to this point in our facial, I love it because she combines it with a massage. This mask works really well for that since it doesn't dry up and it's very lubricating. So my goal this season is to have glowy, hydrated skin. Well, actually that's my goal all year round, but it's harder to do in the winter time, so I pay extra attention to it. Right now I'm gonna do my gua sha routine with some face oil. This is from Biosance, it's their rose oil. And you need to have a slick surface in order to do this. I like to do it, especially in the mornings, because I get really puffy when I first wake up. And then I like to start by sculpting my jawline. So I go in with my stainless steel tool and gently go along my jawline and then bring it down this area here on my neck. I kind of like push my nose like this and then do this sweeping upward motion. It's totally normal for your face to get a little red when you do this but it always makes me feel sculpted and I feel like the blood is really flowing through my face. So while I let the redness kind of go down, I'm gonna do my bumpy skincare. So the Osea Undaria Algae Collection is my go-to, especially in the winter. It's such a winter treat for my skin. I just got a freshie, so satisfying. So I'm gonna apply this all over my body. Obviously, I'm gonna do my whole body off the camera. Hey Google, 
play classical morning music on Spotify. I like to see my environment as a reflection of my mindset. So whenever I feel unfocused or uninspired, it really helps me to clean and organize the spaces around my life that I frequent. I try to keep the kitchen clean all throughout the day, but sometimes it does need a bit of tidying, so I'm doing that now before I prep anything. I've been drinking AG1 every single morning before breakfast on an empty stomach. It's just a really easy way to get a plethora of vitamins and minerals into my system with just one drink. And now it's time to get started on a healthy and delicious breakfast. I'm making my go-to avocado toast this morning for my fiance and I. It's so quick and easy. I just slice up some bread, toast it, poach an egg, mash up some avocado, and then I like to add some toppings like arugula, some pepper, and some red chili flakes. I'm also putting together a mini yogurt bowl with some cashew milk yogurt, some granola, fresh berries, passion fruit pulp from the garden, and cacao nibs. And serving this all with a side of freshly squeezed orange juice. To go back to the idea of having a clean environment and keeping the spaces you use often organized, I like to keep my fridge fresh and clean. And the way I do this is whenever I go grocery shopping, I'll do a fridge clean out as well. This involves going through everything and making sure nothing is expired or expiring soon, taking out items so I can wipe the shelves down, and then putting everything away back into its correct place for easy access and visibility. So when I'm doing my fridge restock, I mainly focus on putting my fresh produce into airtight containers so that they stay fresher for longer. I also wash everything, especially berries. I wash these with baking soda, white vinegar, and water. I let it soak for a few minutes and then rinse them out. It is crazy to see how much dirt comes off of them once you use the baking soda vinegar method. Then I dry them and put the berries away in a container into the fridge for later. So this is a final result after my fridge reset and restock. Everything is looking good. I feel inspired when I open the fridge. And to take it one step further, I love decorating spaces around my home with fresh flowers. It is a bit of an investment to constantly have fresh bouquets around the house, but for me, the reward of a lovely home is so worth it. And I also have a lot of fun making bouquets every week. My productivity levels and inspiration directly stem from my environment. So keeping a clean office is a must for me. I've let a lot of clutter just pile up everywhere, so I'm doing a bit of tidying before I sit down at my desk. I've been really into using Notion lately. I like to write goals, plan out my content, make to-do lists, grocery lists, meal prepping, etc. But I still also love to journal with a pen and paper, so in honor of the new year, I'm doing an ins and outs list. Another form of self-care I love to do is to make tea. But for me, it's more of a ritual by using beautiful teaware and having a theme for each tray. Today, I was feeling like having Japanese genmaicha tea with a traditional tea ceremony snack, and it is the coziest accompaniment to just cuddling up on the sofa and reading a good book. When going about my day, I always try to incorporate a few activities that ground me and take me outside. And one of my favorite things to do is to go to my local nursery and stroll around. I've been wanting to do a garden refresh for a while, especially since I kind of let it go these past few months while I was traveling. And the main thing I wanted to accomplish was to plant some leafy greens since they thrive in the winter. So I'm changing out the soil in this bed for much needed new nutritious soil and getting my lettuce and kale all tucked away into their new home. I'm also refreshing a few of my potted herbs and adding flowers to this planter for a pop of color. Spending time in my yard really brings me peace, a sense of purpose, and I hope that one day I can do a lot more with the land that I have instead of just container gardening. But in the meantime, I'm loving it. Of course, my favorite outdoor activity is to be in the ocean. Especially when I'm surfing, I instantly feel alive, especially with that cold water. 
super in tune with my mind and my body and full of endorphins, especially when I get to surf with friends. I hope you find some inspiration from my healthy habits and that you'll carry them on to this new year. And I hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you guys later.